Okay, power down to 30% and ignite the four main engines. Looking good, heat them up to prepare for departure. Turn off the brakes, last changes to our elevators and power up full throttle. Get this girl into motion, here we go. So welcome back fellas, this time on board of the new jet stream on its way to the Arctic. Gonna be a one hour long flight and we won. Bring the nose up slowly without having the tail hit the ground. Perfect. And gears up. For this flight we have to get everything out of our new jet. Gonna be quite an adventure, so here we go, hitting 1000 meters. And head straight for the north at zero degrees. Looking good so far, let's keep this course till the end. Change to mission time, now two minutes into the flight. Looking good, gaining altitude constantly, exactly what I want to have. Another little change on our elevators, set it back to normal, thank you. Okay, now we have to open the resource manager to balance our plane, transfer some fuel from the tail to the front to change the center of mass. An action we have to repeat several times during our flight. And since our velocity got pretty low, we need to counteract to prevent a stall. Set the first engines on afterburner mode. Our velocity is rising again, very good, so let's get our nose back up to continue with gaining some altitude. So far so bueno. Time for another fuel transfer to keep our girl in balance. And we stopped gaining both speed and altitude, so it's time to set the next pair of engines on afterburn. Now about 500 kilometers per hour fast at 9,000 meters, but there's room for more. And reaching 10,000 meters, the gold mark, splendid. I'm gonna pause the game here for a second so we can take care of the next task. At the tips of our wings we have two little fuel tanks which we need to empty before we can release them. So select all parts of those tanks and transfer all the fuel to the remaining ones. Keep in mind that the jet's center of mass will change during the transfer. Okay, continue the game and start the transfer. Superb, the sides are empty. Set the tanks release for our next action and get rid of the dead weight. Now 20 minutes into the flight, I guess it's time to reveal the power of our T1 Dart engine. Okay, we are still alive, awesome, but we need to stay focused, prepare for the next and last big fuel transfer. This time we need to get rid of the Metalox main tank below the jet, so select all its parts and transfer their fuel to the rest of the vessel. Alright, transfer completed, let's see how our girl behaves. And it seems like she doesn't like it. Oh yeah, she's angry. Yup, fantastic. The center of mass was way out of the limits. Let's try it again. That's why it's so important that you watch your balance closely. Okay, now release the tank. All right, that was not very optimal, but luckily just a little scratch on our plane's paint job. Should have left some fuel in the tank for a safer release. Because don't forget, we have still passengers on board who would love to get to the Arctic in one piece. Well, that's it with our dart engine, since we are out of CH4, so deactivate it just to be sure it's offline. And we hit the speed record, now 1400 km per hour fast, reduce the elevator since we approached the jet's max altitude. It got quite dark out there, so turn on the cabin lights for our passengers and keep our girl calm and steady. Almost halfway through, let's see how the rest of our flight turns out.
So far so good. As you can see, our sun goes down now 40 minutes into the flight. Keep our heads cool and continue just like the way it is. And we are still alive and in the air, that's nice. Now 50 minutes into the flight, we are getting closer to our final approach. Okay guys, you can't really see it in the dark, but those are snowy mountains right ahead and our tracking station shows us very close to our destination. So power and nose down so we can leave our cruising speed and altitude. I really like what I'm seeing. We finally got the indicator for our target. Very good. Reignite the engines, but this time on cruise mode and continue with our approach. We will stay on this course for a bit until we are closer to the target. And we made it one hour into the flight. In my opinion, definitely a milestone. Well, not too shabby, is it? Okay, make a right turn to get our heading right, slowly. And let's fly through this valley to get to our target. Check our passengers real quick. How are you doing? All seem to be fine, you almost made it. Now fasten your seatbelts, please. Landing procedures. I'm gonna put the window for a braking parachute right here for better access and find a good landing path. Power up a bit so we don't get too slow. And gears down. This is it boys, slow and steady, we can already see the ground. Maybe put the window here so we can see the target, okay, and deploy the chute. And let's make this smooth. Touchdown. Okay, okay, oh, that's some bumpy terrain here. Landing was more like one from Ryanair, oh shit. We definitely have to be careful here. And there are rocks almost everywhere, but it seems like we are good, so cut the chute. There we go, we approach the target, and here we are, finally. It looks like our sister jet broke her gears while we were gone. Always unfortunate when it comes to this, but well, let's just ignore it once again and park us right next to her. Looks good to me. Maybe check our other plane for a second. Seems to be fine, including its crew. That's good. So at least no one froze to death on it while waiting for us. Please fast forward so we can have some daylight. Now look at this. I think our crews could use some fresh air, so let's get them out. And assemble everybody, so we can place our second mission flag to officially end today's flight. Thank you very much for flying with us. See you the next time.